The speed, the vision, the intensity. John Wall wasn't just fast. He was a blur on the court, a force of nature that left defenders in the dust and fans breathless. But how did this human highlight reel become one of the most feared point guards in NBA history? Picture this. It's May 12, 2017. Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. The Washington Wizards are down by 2 against the Boston Celtics with just 3.5 seconds left on the clock. Wall gets the inbound pass, squares up behind the 3-point line, and launches a shot over Avery Bradley's outstretched arm. Time slows down as the ball arcs through the air, the fate of the Wizards' season hanging in the balance, swish nothing but net. The Verizon Center erupts. Three, Wall's clutch three-pointer forces a Game 7 and cements his legacy as one of the most electrifying players the league has ever seen. From his lightning-quick first step to his court vision that seemed to defy human limitations, John Wall's prime years were nothing short of spectacular. But what made him truly special? And why did opposing teams lose sleep knowing they had to face him? Let's break down the elements that made Prime John Wall a nightmare for the rest of the NBA. First up, that unreal speed. Wall wasn't just fast, he was flash level quick. His first step was so explosive it often left defenders flat-footed, wondering what just happened. In his prime, Wall could reportedly run the length of the court in just 3.14 seconds. That's faster than some NFL players run the 40-yard dash. This blazing speed wasn't just for show. It was a weapon that Wall wielded with precision and devastating effect. To put this speed into perspective, let's look at a game from December 8, 2014 against the Boston Celtics. Wall recorded five steals in this game, but it was how he turned those steals into points that was truly remarkable. On one play, he picked off a pass at the three-point line and was at the other end of the court for a layup before the Celtics players had even turned around. It was like watching a cheetah among house cats, but speed alone doesn't make a great player. What set Wall apart was his ability to control that speed. He could stop on a dime, creating space for his deadly pull-up jumper, or he'd use that threat to freeze a defender before blowing by them for an easy layup. It was like trying to guard a Ferrari that could turn on a penny. Take for example, a game against the Chicago Bulls on January 9, 2016, Wall had Bulls guard Derrick Rose, no slouch in the speed department himself, completely off balance all night. He'd sprint towards the basket, then suddenly stop and pull up for a jumper, leaving Rose scrambling to contest. The result? A 27-point, 10-assist performance that left the Bulls defense in shambles. Next up, his court vision. Wall didn't just see the court. He saw plays developing before they happened. He had an almost supernatural ability to thread passes through impossibly tight windows. Teammates learned quickly, if you're open for even a split second, Wall will find you. This vision, combined with his speed, made him nearly impossible to game plan against. Collapse on him to stop the drive? He'd find the open man. Play him for the pass? He'd blow by you for an easy bucket. In his prime years from 2014 to 2017, Wall averaged over 20 points and 10 assists per game. He was only the third player in NBA history to average 20 and 10 for three straight seasons, joining the elite company of Magic Johnson and Chris Paul. These weren't just empty stats either. Wall's performances directly translated to team success, turning the Wizards into a perennial playoff threat. Let's dive into some of Wall's most jaw-dropping performances. On December 6, 2016, he dropped a career-high 52 points against the Orlando Magic, shooting a blistering 18 of 31 from the field. This wasn't just a case of a player getting hot from outside. Wall scored in every way imaginable. He was slicing through the lane for layups, pulling up for mid-range jumpers, and even knocking down threes. It was a complete offensive showcase that left the Magic defense exhausted and bewildered. During the 2017 playoff run, 
he averaged an astounding 29.5 points and 10.3 assists per game against the Hawks, showcasing his ability to elevate his game when it mattered most. One particular game in this series stood out, Game 6, where Wall scored 42 points and dished out 8 assists. With the Wizards facing elimination, Wall put the team on his back, scoring or assisting on 23 of the Wizards' final 29 points to force a Game 7. But Wall's impact went beyond the stat sheet. He had an intensity, a fire that infected his entire team. When Wall was on, the Wizards were a different beast. He elevated everyone around him, turning good players into great ones and making average teammates look like stars. Bradley Beal, Otto Porter Jr., Marcin Gortat, they all played some of their best basketball alongside Wall. Take Bradley Beal, for instance. Before Wall's arrival, Beal was a promising young player, but playing alongside Wall, he blossomed into an all-star. Wall's ability to draw defenders and find Beal for open shots was a key factor in Beal's development. In the 2016-17 season, Beal averaged a career-high 23.1 points per game, with many of his baskets coming off Wall's assists. Often overlooked was Wall's defensive prowess. His quickness and anticipation made him a steals machine, often turning defense into instant offense. He averaged nearly two steals per game in his prime, disrupting offenses and igniting fast breaks that left fans gasping for air. But it wasn't just the steals that made Wall a defensive terror. His ability to stay in front of opposing guards, fight through screens, and contest shots made him a complete defender. He could shut down some of the league's best scorers, forcing them into tough shots or turnovers. This two-way ability made Wall truly special. He could dominate a game on both ends of the floor. Wall's ability to impact the game on both ends of the floor made him a true two-way superstar. He could lock down the opposing team's best guard and then turn around and drop 30 points and 10 assists on the other end. This versatility is what made him such a nightmare for opponents. There was no easy way to game plan against John Wall because he could beat you in so many different ways. His accolades speak volumes about his impact on the game. Wall was a five-time All-Star from 2014 to 2018, earned All-NBA Third Team honors in 2017, and was named to the All-Defensive Second Team in 2015. He led the league in total assists twice, 2014 and 2017, and set Wizards franchise records for most assists, 831, and steals, 177, in a single season, both achieved in the 2016-17 campaign. One of the most impressive aspects of Wall's game was his ability to make the spectacular look routine. His behind-the-back passes in traffic, acrobatic finishes at the rim, and clutch performances in the fourth quarter became his calling cards. When the game was on the line, Wall seemed to find another gear. Take, for example, a game on December 8, 2015, against the Miami Heat, where Wall scored 19 of his 26 points in the fourth quarter, single-handedly outscoring the entire Heat team in the final period. Wall's impact extended beyond the court. He was deeply involved in the Washington, D.C. community, particularly with his 202 assist program which helped underprivileged families in the area. His commitment to the city endeared him to fans and made him more than just a basketball player. He was a true icon in DC. Wall's community work wasn't just a side project, it was a core part of who he was. He regularly visited local schools, hosted basketball camps, and even paid the rent for families facing eviction. This off-court impact made Wall beloved in Washington, even during tough times on the court. So why don't we talk about prime John Wall in the same breath as other all-time greats? The answer, unfortunately, lies in the cruel twist of fate that befalls many athletes. Injuries. Wall's game relied heavily on his otherworldly athleticism. When knee issues started to slow him down in 2018, followed by an Achilles injury in 2019, it was like watching Superman lose his powers. These injuries robbed Wall of his prime years and prevented him from reaching the heights many believed he was destined for. But even as injuries took their toll, flashes of that prime Wall would still emerge. Moments that reminded everyone just how special he was at his peak. 
it begs the question, what if? What if Wall had stayed healthy? How high could he have climbed in the pantheon of NBA greats? Could he have led the Wizards to an NBA championship? These questions will forever remain in the realm of what might have been, a tantalizing glimpse of an alternate basketball history. As we look back on Wall's career, it's clear that his prime years were something truly special. He wasn't just a great player, he was a force of nature that changed the game every time he stepped on the court. Fast, fearless, and full of fire, Prime John Wall wasn't just a player you game planned for, he was a player you feared. From a purely basketball perspective, Wall's prime years changed the way the point guard position was played. He showed that a point guard could be both a prolific scorer and an elite playmaker. His combination of speed, vision, and scoring ability set a new standard for what teams looked for in a lead guard. You can see Wall's influence in many of today's young point guards, players who can score 30 points one night and dish out 15 assists the next. So the next time someone asks you about the most electrifying players in NBA history, don't forget to mention John Wall. Because for a few glorious years, he didn't just play the game, he redefined it. And in doing so, he left an indelible mark on the league, terrorizing opponents and thrilling fans in a way few others ever have. But here's the real question. In today's NBA, with its emphasis on three-point shooting and positionless basketball, could a player like Prime John Wall still dominate, or was he a product of a bygone era 